Hey, what's up guys? It is, oh, let me get my car real quick. It is Wednesday, August 3rd. Just got done at the gym hitting chest and a little bit of triceps. Now I am headed home. I don't even know why in vlogs sometimes I tell you guys what I'm going to do because that's kind of like the point of the vlog, right? Wouldn't you think that um, following me through my day, I'm basically showing you what I'm gonna do? Rather, I don't need to tell you what I'm gonna do, but, um, I am super behind on movies right now because uh, you guys know, I mean, my channel, as much as it is a fitness channel, I'm not going to say as much as it is a fitness channel, but a lot of my channel is dedicated to like movies because I mean, I'm as passionate about movies, if not more passionate about movies um, as I am about fitness. So um, I am very behind in movies right now because fair week hit uh, where I didn't go see anything uh, the week before that was very busy. Um, just getting things set up for it and work has been extremely busy lately and it's just been making me tired and um, picking up new clients and just everything that has been coming into my life lately uh, has kind of thrown me off of my movie schedule. I'm not complaining because uh, the busier I am, the more successful I'm going to be. Um, idle hands are the devil's tools in my opinion. So um, stay busy my friends. But um, tonight, going to see uh, maybe Jason Bourne or Star Trek, and then tomorrow night I'm hoping to go see the other one so that Friday I can go see Suicide Squad and I can knock out three very important movies that have come out recently. I can knock three movies out in three days. That's the plan. Not sure if it's going to happen, but um, that's what I want to do. But tonight, either seeing Jason Bourne or Star Trek, but got to get home, eat real quick, and then I'm heading to the movies. So, see you guys in the next clip. Interject real, real fast. You know what else you can do is you can start a website, you can apply for credentials at Rotten Tomatoes, and you can... Movie theater looks empty. Close by. <laughs> Presenting the American Express. Alright guys, so leaving the theater right now, went to go see Jason Bourne and first thing I want to say, first thing I want to say is that it's so nice to see Matt Damon back in a Bourne movie and it's so nice to see Paul Greengrass directing him because it felt like a Bourne movie again, which I mean it's been a while. So um, initial thoughts was... I was impressed. I mean, it was like the old Bourne movies, and that's exactly what I wanted. Um, but um, I kind of want to start with one of the negative things I had about it. Uh, action movies have evolved a lot <laughs> since uh, the Bourne movies, and um, those quick cut scenes that used to be like a staple of the Jason Bourne movies, you know they don't really work in film anymore. They don't, they're kind of outdated. And in my opinion, I think uh, the movie would have been a little bit better with a few less of those quick cut action scenes when people are fighting. And uh, they just kind of make you a little dizzy. They kind of give you a headache and they kind of show that the actors aren't necessarily really performing those action scenes, aren't really like, doing the fighting or whatever but um i also kind of had a problem with the ending i thought it was very rushed um things were just kind of thrown together but um they did again leave it open for another born movie but some of the things that i really did like alicia vikander vikander whatever um she is going to be a star she was awesome in this movie as one of the agents and i thought she absolutely stole the show um i thought matt damon again as jason Bourne, perfect um, the story in this, directed by Paul Greengrass, fantastic. I mean, um, is it my favorite movie of 2016? No. Is it my favorite movie of the summer? Possibly. I mean, um, it was action-packed throughout. It was fun. And it really never slowed down. And that's what I want in a Jason Bourne movie. I want something that is going to go all out, full throttle, from start to finish. Great spy thriller. And that's what we got. So did I like it? Absolutely. Did I have a few problems? Yeah. What would I rate it? Probably B plus, A minus. Had a lot of fun. Is it the best Bourne movie? Probably not, but it was fun and it was great to see Matt Damon as Jason Bourne again. And again, great to see Paul Greengrass directing it. I would love to see another Bourne movie, but we'll see. About to head home and uh, I'll see you guys in the next clip. 
Happy Thursday, guys. I am on my way to the gym right now. I am tired. It is like 4.30, and it's just been a long week. Every single day at work, um, it's, been, it's been long days at work, and getting up at 3.30 in the morning, man, those are long days, and without getting a nap or anything like that throughout the day, man, you really start to feel it. But you know what? Um, it got me thinking as well. I know I've said many times, if you don't love what you do, quit and pursue what you love. But there's also another side to that because I'm working a sucky job right now. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. There's no way around it. I'm working a sucky job. But you know what? This sucky job makes, makes me a good amount of money for the time being. And what I want to do, whether it's opening up a gym, whether it's moving to Florida and doing um, personal training down there, whether it's whatever I want to do, I can do my online personal training, I can do Trey Fisher Fitness, I can do my online personal training and uh, love what I do, but make that process of getting to my goals much, 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 much slower, or I can fast track my goals, I can fast track the way to my dreams and I can work this sucky job for the time being. I can put in the work, I can suck it up, and just not be afraid to um, do what I have to for the time being. And you know what? I think there are two sides to that story. While it's great, while it's necessary to find a passion, to find goals, to do what you love, it's also necessary to not feel entitled to anything. Sometimes you have to work a sucky job to get where you want. I mean, even if I would have graduated in a field that I would have been super passionate about, sometimes, as soon as you're out of college, you have to work a sucky position to get where you wanna go because you're not entitled to anything in this world. Uh, I don't wanna burst your bubble, but I don't care who your parents are, I don't care who you know, I don't care what your name is, you're not entitled to anything. You have to earn it, you have to put in the work, and you have to earn it. So right now, I'm earning it. I'm earning my goals, I'm earning my dreams, I'm working hard to get there. And I definitely think there's another side to that, to that aspect of doing what you love and making your goals and your dreams a reality. So I uh, just wanna to touch on that real quick. We're about to head to the gym, gonna hit traps, gonna hit biceps. I'll see you guys there. All right guys, so leaving the movies, just saw Star Trek Beyond and I wanna preface this review by first off saying, I'm not a Star Trek fan. Like I didn't grow up watching the Star Trek show. I didn't grow up um, being a big fan of Star Trek. I've always been diehard Star Wars. Um, but the thing is, is I like these new Star Trek movies because they're fun and you know, I like those space odyssey type movies. But the thing is, I did not like Into Darkness. Um, I was not a fan of Star Trek Into Darkness, so I had low expectations for this movie. But again, I just wanted something that was fun. Um, I wanted a fun space journey movie um, with a decent story, uh, good acting, decent chemistry between characters, and then also, I wanted it just to be a good action adventure movie. And you know what? Expectations 100% exceeded. I loved, I loved Star Trek Beyond. Um, and the reason I loved it so much was for all those things. It was fun. It was, um, it had good acting. Good, like good acting. Like how, how often do you get that from a movie like Star Trek? Beyond or Star Trek Into Darkness or any of those movies. How often do you get something like that where you're just really impressed with the acting? I thought um, Idris Elba's performance as the villain, phenomenal. I thought he was really good. I loved, again, I loved uh, Chris Pine as Captain Kirk. I wish he was like a better actor so he could be in more stuff, but I've, oh, like, I've only ever thought he was really good as Captain Kirk, but he nails it as Captain Kirk. Um, Zachary Quinto as Spock awesome. I mean, the performances in this movie, I cannot complain. I thought the chemistry between uh, the crew of the Enterprise, I mean, that's what makes the movie so fun is uh, the banter kind of back and forth between um, the cast and crew of the Enterprise. I thought it was really good. Um, a few things that I did kind of have a problem with, uh, I thought the CGI sometimes looked a little wonky. Um, you can definitely tell it's CGI at some points in this movie. Uh, I wish they would have 
um, shown Idris Elba a little bit more. The dude is like one of the biggest names in Hollywood and he was covered up like in tons and tons and tons of makeup. I was kind of waiting to see if that was actually Idris Elba because at first I wasn't really convinced. But you know what? I had a ton of fun with this movie. I really enjoyed it. Um, do I recommend going to see Star Trek Beyond if you uh, like the first Star Trek? And oh, by the way, this movie is produced by J.J. Abrams. At, at one point in this movie, at one point in this movie, you will see the Death Star. And if you've seen this movie, you probably know what I'm talking about. They show a schematics of one of the space stations in this movie. So they kind of show like the blueprint of this space station and it's the Death Star. 100% it's the Death Star. So if you guys know what I'm talking about, comment down below because the Death Star does make an appearance in the Star Trek movie. But I really did enjoy it. Um, if I was to rate it, probably like a B, B plus. You guys are probably thinking after last night's review, I rate all my movies like a B or B plus. But um, I really did enjoy this movie. It exceeded my expectations. It was a perfect no, but it was a ton of fun. But I had to head home, relax, probably edit up a vlog that you guys are probably going to see before this one, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Hey, what's up, guys? It is Friday, August 5th. I am tired. I'm sore. You guys ever get to the end of your week, and you're just like, ugh, I need a nap. Well... That was me, and I came home, and I had work to get done. I had plans to send out to new clients, and um, I like to I like to get those sent out as soon as possible. Um, sometimes I get kind of behind in work. I admit it. Um, I'm tired from like uh, I'm tired from my job, and I come home, and every once in a while I don't get plans out as soon as I'd like to. But today came home, I was tired. Um, but sent the plans out, kind of was taking like a half ass nap for like an hour. Um, but I wasn't ever really asleep. And now I got to go to the gym and do legs. And I wish I would have just like committed that hour um, and just slept. Not tried to like watch YouTube videos, get in the mindset to go to the gym. Just slept. I wish I would have just committed to it because now I'm still tired. Um, I don't feel any more awake than I did um, before I kind of like took a little bit of a nap or whatever it was, but I'm um, about to head to the gym, hit legs, and uh, see you guys there. All right guys, so leaving the gym now, and I'm um, just gonna be talking over some of the clips from today's workout, which was only squats. I didn't do any accessory stuff, just squats, and I was aiming for heavy doubles, and quite frankly, I don't even know how to explain how I did what I did today. Uh, I hit 315 for a double, not bad. I put 325 on the bar, hit that for a double, not bad. I hit 335 for a double, and that second rep, I struggled a little bit, just a little bit, but for the most part, it went up pretty smooth, and I decided, why not? I'm tired, I don't have anything to lose, I haven't gone very heavy in a while, so I put 350 on the bar, 350 pounds, which would tie my all-time PR for doubles, and somehow, some way, I got 350, 350 pounds up twice. I can't explain it, especially with how tired I was going into that workout. Um, I just had my headphones on and I went for it. I committed to it and you guys saw uh, when I got that first rep, I stood there for a second contemplating, do I want to do this second rep because that first rep was hard, that first rep was heavy, but you know what? If you commit to it, you really do commit to it a lot of times your body is strong enough to hit certain weights if you mentally commit to it sometimes your mind can psych you out and tell you you're too tired tell you you're not necessarily strong enough to hit that guaranteed if you truly set your mind to it now I'm not saying I would have been able to hit like 400 for a double or even 365 for a double but when you know in your and you commit in your mind that you can do it a lot of times when you have a weight that's kind of right there teetering on the edge of difficult and uh, maybe reaching a little bit, it's mind over matter. And I committed to it, I got it, then I hit 225 for a set of 10 afterwards and that was it. And that was it, that's all I could take. But um, on my way home now, I'm going to grab something to eat real quick, head to the theater, going to see Suicide, Suicide Squad tonight, super pumped. Uh, I'll let you guys know what I think of the movie afterwards, but um, right now I need some food after that workout. All right, guys, so just left the theater, went to see Suicide Squad. Uh, taking 
not gonna give my review right now because the movie got over with about 20 minutes ago. I sat outside in the hallway of the movie theater for all 20 of those minutes. As you can see, we're taking little baby steps right now because <laughs> my quads were as cramped up as I think they have ever been in my entire life. When I said earlier, I don't know how I was able to squat that much weight with as tired as I am. Well, my body just said, yeah, you shouldn't have. So I am just gonna try to get home and then I'll talk about this movie. But right now, priority number one is just make it to my car. Just make it to my car. All right guys, so home from the movies now and my quick thoughts on Suicide Squad. So first and foremost, um, in 2016, there are three movies that I have been anticipating more than anything. Star Wars Rogue One, Deadpool, and Suicide Squad. So I was very excited to go into this movie. Very, very, very excited to see Suicide Squad on the big screen. And earlier this week when some other YouTubers and critics started to see this movie and the reviews were not all positive, I'm going to be honest, I was a little disappointed, but I ignored those. I did not read any reviews, I didn't watch any YouTube videos or anything about Suicide Squad, but I did hear that some of them were negative. So um, I lowered my expectations a little bit, but I still stayed very optimistic and still very excited to see Suicide Squad on the big screen. And you know what, when I went into this movie, I thought it was a ton of fun. I really, really enjoyed it. Sure, was it perfect? No. Sure, were there problems with it? Yes. And I'm going to talk about those. But for the most part, I had a lot of fun with it. And I think the reason I had the most fun with it was because the team chemistry was perfect. The way these char characters interacted with each other and the actors that portrayed the characters was spot on. I thought they were fantastic. I really, really did. And I mean, you can just kind of break down these characters. Will Smith as Deadshot. I thought he was great as Deadshot. And Will Smith was a part of this movie that I was the most nervous with because a, an actor like Will Smith, a very kind of, I mean, around Hollywood, people know him as very egocentric. When he is in a movie, he likes to be on the screen. He likes to hog the camera. And you know what? In a movie that's called Suicide Squad, Squad, you need to show each and every member of that team and you can't have one person just kind of dominating screen time like I was kind of scared Will Smith might but you know what they didn't I thought Will Smith was great as Deadshot and I thought that he fit that role very very well and you and like through different parts of that movie you really did kind of care about care about that character and I mean just going through the Suicide Squad um, Jai Courtney is uh, as Captain Boomerang this is by far the best Jai Courtney has ever been in his career um, uh, the guy that played Killer Croc. Can you imagine they actually made a Killer Croc, a live-action Killer Croc good? I mean, I thought he was really good. Um, the guy that played Diablo, you really cared about his character. I thought he was great. His character development throughout this movie was awesome. Um, who else? Uh, why can I not think of it? You've got so Captain Boomerang. Um, I'm, I'm obviously leaving Harley Quinn towards the end because she was my favorite part of this movie, not just because Margot Robbie is beautiful and perfect but because she played Harley Quinn I mean I was I wasn't really sure how I was gonna feel about Harley Quinn in this movie but you know what she was great she, like all her different like one-liners that you've heard from the comics that you've heard from the animated TV show they were perfect they were so good and her interaction with Joker Jared Leto as Joker who I'm still kinda on the fence about I know a lot of people are just like all in sold but for me I'm still kind of on the fence about Jared Leto as Joker, and I don't necessarily know why, but, I mean, I liked him. I just don't know if he is, I don't know. I'm still kind of mixed about the whole Jared Leto Joker thing, but you know what? That's okay. This movie wasn't about Joker, and I, was, I thought the main villain of this movie was going to be Joker. I thought he was going to kind of be that main protagonist. He wasn't. The main villain of this movie was the number one problem I had with this movie. I thought that a villain, I'm not spoiling anything, not spoiling anything, but the villain was like just blown out of proportion, crazy, strong, un, like just ridiculous. And I, in my opinion, if you have characters like Batman, Flash, Wonder Woman, characters like that in this universe and a villain that is as powerful and crazy ridiculous as what we saw in this movie, uh, those superheroes are probably gonna come help. And you know what? 
I know, they've explained multiple times in the Marvel Universe and um, in different other universes why characters can't get intertwined. But you know what? Batman was in this movie. Batman put a lot of these villains in prison. Why, like, if he is going to be in this movie and there was another cameo by a Justice League member in this movie, if they're going to put those characters in movies like this, like, if I just was kind of confused why a villain that was this powerful was not also being fought by pieces of the Justice League and not just the Suicide Squad. But hey, that's just me. That's just me. So I, I wasn't a fan of the villain. I wasn't a fan of the whole kind of build up to the villain. Um, that's just one problem I had. Another problem I had, I've a lot of people say they really like the beginning part of this movie. I didn't. The first 30 minutes of this movie where they're introducing the backstory of the characters, I wasn't a fan of. I know some people might say, well, Treg, you need to have those backstories so people that don't understand these characters can kind of get to know them. You know what? No, you don't. Because in Guardians of the Galaxy, they didn't have those flashback scenes for Gamora. They didn't have flashback scenes for Star-Lord. They didn't have flashback scenes for Rocket and Groot and Drax. But you know what? Through creative dialogue and context clues throughout the movie, you learned about these characters and you cared about these characters. And I think that Suicide Squad could have done that. I truly do believe and have faith that there are good enough writers and directors and producers out there that can do that and they don't just have to open up a file and do what Batman v Superman did when they just Re you open up a file, you look at the character, somebody talks about the character, and then boom, you're instantly in their backstory. I think it's kind of lazy. Sure, D what were those little backstory flashbacks entertaining? Yeah, they were, but I just thought that they could have done it better. So um, that's another problem that I had with the movie. But you know what? Overall, I really did enjoy it. I had fun with it. I thought this movie did a lot for the DC Universe, showing that the DC Universe doesn't have to be so serious and dark and um, everything that Batman v Superman was. I did not like Batman v Superman, but this movie review is not about Batman v Superman. Um, I thought Suicide Squad was fun. I thought it made you care about some of the most despicable villains in the DC Universe, and um, that's what I enjoyed. I enjoyed the team aspect. I enjoyed the fun ride that it was. Oh, by the way, um, I just talked about the Suicide Squad, but you've got, uh, uh, shoot, what's his name, that plays Rick Flagg, and then also Amanda Waller, kind of like the human uh, leaders of the Suicide Squad, the ones that kind of organized it and then kind of led them in their journey. Uh, I thought they were great. I, I really did. I thought they were great. Um, I, I liked their kind of... Um, I liked how they were put into this movie as kind of being in charge of the Suicide Squad and kind of having total power over these characters that are so much stronger than them, but because of certain different things, they have complete and total control over them. And I thought um, that the way they played off in this movie was really good. But um, that's kind of wrapping up my thoughts on Suicide Squad. If I was to give it a rating, probably a B- minus or a B, um, just because I thought the beginning part could have been better and I thought the villain and the ending was just a little bit too ridiculous. Um, that's just my opinion. Um, so sure, um, B minus or a B is probably where I'd put it. But you know what? Again, I had a lot of fun with it and I thought it was really good. Do I recommend going to see it in theaters? Absolutely. Go see Suicide Squad in theaters. It's a ton of fun and I definitely think you're going to enjoy it. But um, this video is probably ridiculously long with three movie reviews three days worth of vlog footage so hopefully if you guys have made it this far um, you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet go hit that red subscribe button www.trickfisher.com for online personal training I'll talk to you guys in the next one peace